Hi, my name is Mary Dorr and I'm the Director of Student Financial Aid at Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Today I'd like to tell you some basic information about federal and state and institutional financial aid at Kansas City, Kansas Community College. The aid available at Kansas City, Kansas Community College consists of federal grants, which includes the Pell Grant, the ACG Grant, and the SEOG Grant. Federal direct loans, which would be a direct subsidized loan, direct unsubsidized loan, and parent loans. We also offer work-study program, which includes the federal work-study program and the college work-study program. Institutional aid includes performance grants in many areas um, of the college, such as athletics, journalism, art, drama, and many other areas. You can look at that on the website. Scholarships include academic scholarships and scholarships from our endow endowment association. Outside agency aid includes that aid given by employers or scholarships from communities, clubs, or organizations that the students may know. All that aid comes through the financial aid office and it is processed. The application for all federal financial aid is the free application for federal student aid and it's called the FAFSA and that is available online and that is the application for all federal aid and some institutional aid and work study and it is also the application to start the, the loan process. The other application that is needed for students that want loans, they must fill out a direct loan request form. For students that want scholarships, they must fill out the endowment scholarship application and students that are interested in performance grants should contact campus departments for information on how to apply for various performance grants. Work study positions are listed and referrals are given in the Student Financial Aid Office. Those of you who know where the Financial Aid Office is, um, you need to go to the bulletin board across from this elevator to find out what work study positions are available on campus. If you're interested in a work study position and find one available, you can find out if you have aid eligibility in the Financial Aid Office. The financial aid process itself um, goes like this. The financial aid office responds to students with requests for more information when we receive the free application for federal student aid. The FAFSA must be sent to the school. Once the school receives the FAFSA information, the school will respond to the student. It may be an award letter telling you how much aid you're going to receive. It may be a request to send us more information. As soon as your file is completed, we can go to the next step, which would be to award you financial aid. An award notice is mailed to the student, and awards are both for fall and spring. Awards are based on full-time enrollment. Students may receive financial aid, for less than full-time enrollment. So I think that's a myth that a lot of students believe in, that you have to be a full-time student to receive federal grants or federal loans. In most cases, you must enroll in at least six credit hours to receive a loan or Pell Grant. Book vouchers are given to students with financial aid, allowing you to charge your books and required supplies to your account before you receive your financial aid. So those students who have their aid all in order may receive all their tuition, books, and fees deferred until your aid is applied to your account. Student loans will be dispersed to student accounts um, through the, throughout the semester, depending on when your loan application has been approved. At Kansas City, Kansas Community College, loans are dispersed two times each semester. Students must be eligible at the time that the loan is dispersed. By eligible, I mean you must be enrolled and attending at least six credit hours. Your federal grants, the Pell Grant, the ACG, and the SEOG grants will be paid to your student's account once each semester. For the fall, 
um, Pell Grants are paid the first week of October. For the spring, the first week of March, and the summer, the first week of July. Students must use your Hire One card to indicate your preference in getting your refunds. The Hire One card is received by all students who enroll at Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Any problem or issue with your Hire One card, the student is asked to either call the customer service number on the back of the card or to contact our business office who's in charge of the Hire One accounts. Some of the student responsibilities in getting financial aid, and I think this has caused a lot of issues and I wanted to bring this up because we do have questions each semester. First of all, there's a lot of paperwork, a lot of printed material that it is involved with student financial aid. It's federal government regulations, it's state regulations, it's institutional regulations, and we all need to be um, cognizant of all those rules and regulations. So the students should read all their material sent from the Student fin Financial Aid Office. When you read your material and there are questions, the time to ask is then, um, is now. Ask questions about material you read, you do not understand, you can call the Financial Aid Office or come into the college itself. The other responsibilities is to attend classes. Um, federal grant aid will be based on your credit load on what we call Financial Aid Census Day. The Census Day is the day that we look at your credit load and then we pull down money from the federal government to pay you. So if you do not attend your classes or walk away or your instructors withdraw you, you may be paid less money on Financial Aid Census Day. With, withdraw officially if you need to get out of a course. If you are leaving a course and cannot finish a course, please withdraw officially by um, completing a withdrawal form out of the registrar's office. If you do not uh, withdraw officially, there is a chance that your instructor may um, have the option of giving you a failing grade. A failing grade does affect your GPA and that can affect the next time you get financial aid. Federal government requirements require that students must complete at least 66 percent of all the hours that they sign up for to receive financial aid. You must also maintain a satisfactory GPA. All this information is sent to you when you receive your financial aid award. The other thing you need to do is to limit your course selection to only those courses that you need to complete your degree. Here at Kansas City, Kansas Community College, most of our students need approximately 60 to 75 hours to receive your associate's degree. The federal government requires that we only limit you to 97 attempted credit hours. So it's important, they give you a little leeway there that you can take some extra hours, but once you cross the 97 attempted credit hours, you will no longer be able to get federal student financial aid unless you can prove to the financial aid office that you are completing a completely new degree. The other thing is that's very, very important for students to realize is establishing a family budget. Know when your financial aid will be dispersed to you. If you are counting on financial aid to supplement part of your income because maybe you um, quit your job or reduced your credit hours, know when your money's coming so you can um, count on paying your bills. Do not count on financial aid to be your only source of income. In the case of financial aid, the most eligible student probably would not have enough funds to completely cover the cost of all your budget. If you're borrowing student loans, borrow only what you need. Um, look at your budget once again and plan a budget. Remember that loans must be paid back to the federal government. Those loans that are not paid back and go in default can affect your credit rating and any other purchases that you may be making in the future. The other thing we would like um, students to look at um, paying attention to is updating any changes in your demographic information. If you change your name, if you change your address, if you change your major, um, please report that to the Kansas City, Kansas Community College Admissions and Records Office. 
We do especially encourage you to change your or look at your address. We will be sending things to the address on file in the admissions and records office. So if we don't have a correct address for you, you may not receive your award letter or your funds. Um, the admissions and records office also keeps track of your college major. You may not receive funds if you do not have an updated uh, degree plan with the admissions and records office. It also helps in assigning you the right advisor that will assure your success. I hope today I've mentioned some of the, the things that I feel that all new students need to know about federal financial aid. And I'd like to stress that I've given you a lot of general information. Financial aid is very, very individual for each and every one of you. Every one of you have different family sizes, different family circumstances, and different family income amounts. So don't compare with one another or with friends on aid packages unless you know for sure that exact information is the same for you and your friend on your free application for federal financial aid. We would prefer that each student, if you have a question about your financial aid, that you do an individual one-on-one, -on -one, either phone conversation or office visit with the Student Financial Aid Office, either here on the main campus, at the Tech Center, or the Leavenworth Center, and we would be happy to help you. Thank you.